Well, I just finished my morning coffee. We are still here at the house. Um, I'm getting ready to head over to the shop and prepare for my shop the shop this afternoon, which just so happens to be a Tuesday. Um, I'm not usually having shop the shops on Tuesday. Uh, usually my shop the shop sales are on Wednesday, but we are getting ready to move our e-commerce business to a new location. Um, a lot of people are like, what does that mean? Some people are under the impression that we're moving the entire business. Uh, we're moving our e-commerce. So e-commerce is a fancy word of saying our online business. Um, so our online business consists of our um, live sale inventory, our um, buy it now inventory, our coffee, and our shipping department. Um, all of that is moving to a new location to free up some of the space we have around the shop um, so that we can move towards making it into an actual store. Uh, so I've been having quite a few more sales over on knickknacks.net. Um, I don't currently have any sales scheduled on Whatnot. My goal is to move entirely from Whatnot um, and have all of my sales on Knickknacks. That is my marketplace, um, that is my tribe, those are my people, um, and that is where I want to invest my time, my money, um, <laughs> my attention, um, and so that is where I've been having my sales these days. Um, so today we're gonna go to the shop. We're gonna get ready for our shop the shop. I'm gonna do a little bit more prep work than I normally do. We're gonna do a little bit of preloading. Um, and then if we get through that, maybe after that, we'll start getting ready for the Wednesday shop the shop. Um, and then I think I have a sale plan for Friday. <laughs> Lots of sales, lots of sales in an effort to move along some inventory, less stuff we have to move to the new location. Um, and uh, yeah, it's good. I like I like moving stuff along. Um, so that's our goal for today. Um, next week, we are getting pre-bids on knickknacks, which I'm so excited about. Uh, when I spoke with District about my goal of moving entirely, um, over to knickknacks rather than having sales on whatnot. One of my uh, one of my features that I needed to have was pre-bids and now we have it. So that's one off the list. Next would be international shipping. Like We need international shipping and they are working on it. Um, I know a lot of my buyers um, and viewers are international and I can tell you that every meeting I have with them, um, they assure me that it's being worked on. It's being worked on and I trust them. I believe them because we're constantly getting new features um, and they listen. They listen to us, which is incredible. Um, so all of that being said, I guess we should probably head to the shop and get to work because it's going to be a busy day. All right, so my goal had been originally to leave all this stuff in bags and then just move all the bags over to the new place. But now I'm thinking, you know what? <laughs> we should just sell the stuff in the bags and then not have to move anything over. So I'm going to be emptying some of these bags. Um, and pulling some of the labels off of them. I've got two Shop the Shops scheduled for this week. And then I have a sale this weekend. I've got all sorts of sales planned. And I'm just trying to move stuff along. Um, and I'm scheduling most of my sales over on Knickknacks. Pre-bids are coming next week. That's very exciting. Um, exciting things happening. There's the Mackenzie Child. I wasn't able to find that pattern. It's kind of obscure. It's not the normal checkered or floral pattern. Kind of a little weird. I'm sticking stuff in the sink so I can run some hot water. You run hot water on it and the tags just slip right off. What else do we have down here? Oh, that looks like nice white paper. That might be something good. What is it? Ooh. Mandalorian. But this was a cute little thing <laughs> we got in Florida. Mom picked that out for Andrew. We'll put that up here. I really love this face. I'm not really sure who makes it. Oh wait, that's right, it was signed. What does it say? Clark. Clark Studios. Oh, there's something about the colors of it. It's gorgeous. All right, well, I was thinking, even though this is a shop the shop, I'm going to preload a few items off the tables. 
I feel like that'll help sell more stuff because it does take a few minutes to get the items entered. So I'm gonna grab a few things like this. This has been sitting around for a minute. I forget where this, oh, it's marked. Soviet Union, that's right. Now I also have more of the Soviet Union stuff over here. I think. Oh yeah, right? Now, these are a lot more shiny. I wonder if this is more vintage. I'm not sure. But I think I'm going to enter those in. I have the Catherine home that I'd be willing to let go of. I got it at Goodwill. I don't have very much into it. Preload this cat. <laughs> I feel like if I have this stuff preloaded into the sale, um, it'll be quicker to just um, be like, oh, we're running this next, and we're running this next. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do real quick. Get some stuff preloaded. Well, that'll be exciting next week, whenever there's pre-bids available. So I can get this stuff preloaded, and if you guys can't be there, because of the weird times that I'm having these sales, you'll still be able to hang out and kind of participate. Okay, <laughs> these have been living in the shop for way longer than they should. The reason being it's a three piece fairy light and I only have two pieces, um, but I have a base over here, let's see. Ooh, it works, but also this is a Weishar, Weishar, and this is a Fenton. And this is a Fenton. I don't know. Let me know in the comments which one you think goes better. Also, I'm going to test and see if this glows, because sometimes they glow. This is not a glower. Granted, this is just your most basic flashlight, black light. It's not your fancy 3972 black light. Um... <laughs> I'm just grabbing stuff off the table and speed listing for my shop to shop. This is speed round. <laughs> I've got 10 minutes. 10 minutes. This is amazing. I feel like I should list this as a buy now somewhere. I don't know the age of it. Um, but it does look to have some crudeness to it, which would lead me to believe that it has some age. I just love that piece. Um, I bring you guys very slowly over here. This is the stuff I've gathered up so far. I've got all this stuff preloaded into my sale. These are the items still on the table. So I'm gonna run my preloaded items first, and then I'm gonna let everybody pick items off the table. This was really neat. Let me show you this. So I don't know if you guys remember when I was in Florida and I bought that baggie full of gourds, which a lot of you were probably questioning my decisions. I bought it because of this gourd, because I needed that creepy lizard gourd. I'm not really sure why. Um, but I found this inside, and this is really interesting. First of all, I'm not sure what this is, if it's a bracelet or just a trinket, but it has really neat glass beads, and it has a secret note. There is never simply one means to an end. Journeys intertwine, and the highest may not be the best way five journeys to the answer you must keep a steady hand and not doubt the path nor question your intent and that is all represented on this cord there's no artist signature there's some cracking looks like somebody actually tried to glue it back together it was that important wasn't that interesting i thought that was pretty interesting so that's the magnificent gourd. <laughs> this is the table that's like giving me anxiety. There's just so much happening here. There's like a whole pile of stuff. <laughs> like, like, but when you start to like pick at it, you're like, oh, look, New York World's Fair, 1964 to 1965. That's probably worth something. We have a not glittery fish. That's the rarer, the rarer of the two. Um, a random bottle opener. This is the result of baggies. There are good bags and then there are not so good bags. Sometimes you get bottle openers and sometimes you get 
Tiffany and Company glass paperweights. <laughs> the good and the bad side of baggies. Um, you can see the tables are thinning out a little bit though. It's making me feel good about it. Making me feel good. What you doing? Um. Ooh, treasure. Ooh, ooh. Hey, is that silver? It will be for a little while. <laughs> for a little while. Gets <laughs> All right, so that was a good sale. We sold some stuff. We sold some neodymium. Uh, Bandit bought this. Let me show you how cool it is when it changes colors. So this is neodymium glass. You can see right now that it is purple. And we are going to turn on this light and it is going to turn blue in my hand. Isn't that cool? So you can see I paid $20 for this because I recognized it as neodymium glass. It's a really fun glass to play with. And now I'm going to get ready for my Wednesday shop the shop. Um, I'm thinking a little bit of carnival. Got this back here. I'm thinking I'm working that into the sale. This is really interesting because it has like really heavy iridescence. And then it's like they stopped spraying it when they got to this side. <laughs> it's just kind of a weird thing. I like it. I like it. Um, so I think I'm going to include that in my sale. And then the leftovers from today's sale, the stuff I didn't get to, is going to be on Wednesday. Not this bowl, though. Not this bowl. I think I'm going to put that up as a buy it now on knickknacks. Unfortunately, uh, we weren't able to get it paid for and whatnot. So um, I think my last resort is to list it as a buy it now on knickknacks. All right, here are the items that I have preloaded into my shop the shop sale for tomorrow. <laughs> these are just the items I'm going to start with, and then after we sell through these, we're going to start shopping the, the tables. Um, I found that this helps move things a little bit faster because um, entering items on the go takes a minute, um, and this way I can move through more items. So it's as quick as taking a photo, um, loading it in, putting in shipping, and I'm good to go. So um, I got all of those items preloaded. Sage is over there coughing away. <laughs> busy, busy. Um, all right, so this is a look at the tables. They're really getting thinned out. I really want to find out if this is a drinking glass or a candle votive. I feel like I've seen these before. And I feel like there's like different designs, like opalescent designs. And it's a candle votive. Also, I really want to drink out of it, so I guess it could go either way. It is hair, yeah. What do you think That's of it? That's disgusting. <laughs> I don't want to look at it anymore. You're done looking at it. it. <laughs> look at the face, though. It's got a fork tongue. It's so good. And then there's like a pterodactyl dinosaur. And what the heck is that? Looks like um an alley. Wait, this? Yeah, this Looks right like here. An alligator. <laughs> is that what you think that Lizard. is? <laughs> There's a lot happening there. You have to like really like. <laughs> yeah, that artist had a plan. Yeah, they did. They had definitely had a plan, and then they executed that plan. <laughs> All right. Well, Sage took off for the evening. I think I'm about to call it quits myself. Figured I'd give a final look over the table to see if there was anything else. Um, I started a donation box just because I know there's no way I'm going to be able to get through all of this stuff. Selling it at least. This was disappointing. Um, this was taped together when I bought it. When I got it, I saw that it was in fact broken. And then to top it off, um, I did a Google image search and found out that it sold through Timu. So it <laughs> probably doesn't have the greatest resale value because you could buy it relatively cheap on Timu. Um, and then on top of that, it is damaged. So probably going to donate it. This is my donate box. Um, I know the things in here probably have value. I'm just not too excited about them. And I'd rather spend time listing and selling the things I'm excited about. Um, so I figure we'll pass these back to Goodwill. Um, since we're trying to get stuff moved over anyway, it's just not worth our time. 
All right, well, on that note, I think I'm gonna call it quits for tonight. We got a lot accomplished today. I feel like we moved a lot of stuff out by having our shop the shop. We're gonna have another one tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Put the date up here. Uh, we usually have a shop the shop every Wednesday. So um, we'll have it one tomorrow and then the next Wednesday after that. I um, hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. Um, hope you can join me over on knickknacks.net as we continue to shop the shop and get rid of some of this stuff. And uh, yeah, I guess I will see you tomorrow. So, uh...